There was once a mother duck. This mother duck had no children, yet for none, half her eggs had hatched. She waited patiently day and night for her babies to hatch. One day, as she was sitting on her nest of eggs, the mother duck felt something move beneath her. Filled with happiness, the mother duck watched as one by one her eggs hatch. She was so excited to lead her children to the pond and teach them all the way of being a duck. Unfortunately for the mother duck, one egg was left to hatch. Her little ducks impatiently waited for two more days and nights. But the mother duck made them all wait. For she promised herself that she would love all her children the same. At the crack of the dawn on the third day of waiting, the large brown egg begins to vibrate. It shook and shook as all the dog watched in awe. Then suddenly, out from the large egg popped a large, strange looking head of a bird that didn't look much like a dog. This this baby's beak was little too long, his feather were a little too scruffy, and his face were a little too ugly. But nonetheless, the mother duck promised herself that she would love all her children the same. She led her children into the nearby pond and began to teach each duckling how to be a proper duck. She taught them how to quack. Each duckling quack. The ugly duckling quack. All of the ducks in the pond stare at the ugly duckling and began to laugh. The mother duckling sadly took her little ducklings over to a different part of the pond. The ugly duckling hung his head in shame. The mother duckling became very embarrassed of her ugly duckling and made him stay in the corner of the pond while the others practiced swimming, diving, quacking and splashing. One evening, as all the ducks in the pond had gone to sleep, the ugly duckling decided that it was time for him to leave. So the little ugly duckling ran away. He waddled far away from the pond where he was born. He waddled to small marsh plants and large river reeds. He waddled over bundles of sticks and piles of dung. All this waddling made him dirtier than ever. Hello there! Beam the ugly duckling to the ducks. With this, the new family of ducks turned and stared at the ugly duckling. Oh my, you are very ugly, asked the mother duck. As this family of ducks began to quack and laugh at the ugly duckling, he waddled off again in search of a nicer family to call his own. He waddled far away from the pond with the family of ducks. He waddled his way to a small tree near a pond, where he took shelter during the night. Winter has started. He waddled through now frozen marsh plants and large frozen river reeds. He waddled over frozen bundles of sticks and frozen piles of dung. All this waddling made him colder than ever. Miraculously, the ugly duckling had survived the cold winter. With spring, all of the frozen ponds melt and the frost evaporated from the marsh plants and river reeds. The ugly duckling was still sad, however. He approached a crystal clear pond and saw a family of the most beautiful birds he had ever seen. The swans. As he sat by the water edge, he didn't even dare to ask these birds if he could join. For he knew if he was too ugly to live with ducks, geese and humans, 
he was surely too ugly to live with the gorgeous bevy of swans. Suddenly, a swan gracefully glided through the water over to where the ugly duckling was sitting. My, my, your feathers are the whitest I have ever seen. How they gleam in the sun. The swan exclaimed to the ugly duckling. Confused, the ugly duckling wandered to the water and peered at his reflection. Much to his surprise, he was not an ugly duckling, for he was not a duck at all. He was a beautiful white swan with a long and elegant neck. One day, as the swans were swimming, a man came strolling. The swan recognized this man as the farmer. He approached the edge of the pond and began to feed the swans with breadcrumbs. The farmer looked at one's ugly duckling and said, It looks like you found yourself a family. You are the most beautiful swan I have ever seen. For the rest of his days, the swan lived happily with his new swan family.